best shot. Hey everyone, welcome back to Didi's Mediterranean Kitchen. Today we're going to be making sambusik. Sambusik are these little mini meat pies that are served great for appetizers or snacks. Uh, it's really easy to put together. If you want this recipe or any of my other recipes, make sure to go to my website at ddmed.com. It'll probably show up here in the video somewhere. Also, make sure to join my Facebook and my Twitter network. That way you can see daily updates on what I'm making and what I'm going to be making coming up soon. Now, let's go over the ingredients and we'll put it together. Okay, here we have some nicely minced white onion. Very, very nicely minced. You want it really small so no big chunks come up. I have some nice melted butter. You want a lot of it because we're going to be working with phyllo dough, which is right here. You can buy this ready-made at the store. I have some of Dee Dee's Seven Spices. You can find this on my website at ddmed.com. Just go to my store page. And then I, ha I have some lean ground uh, beef. Now, if you want to use lamb, you can use lamb, or you can use a mixture of lamb and beef. Now, we're going to go to the oven because I'm going to cook up my beef, my onions, and my seven spices. First, what I like to do is add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to the pan. I like to cook up my onions a little bit first before I cook up the beef. I just want to add the onions. You can chop these by hand, or if you have a nice chopper, you can use a chopper. Just like that. I'll let these go for about three to five minutes, just until they're nicely wilted. Okay, our onions are done. I'm gonna take them over. I just wanna put them in a separate plate, just so I can brown up beef first. Turn it down a little, get my beef. And this is gonna take a few minutes. I'll say probably seven to 10 minutes. You want to add your salt right now, and then just continue to stir it while it browns. If needed, you can add a little bit of olive oil because I am using really lean ground beef, so I'm going to add just a few tablespoons of olive oil. See you in a few minutes. Okay, my meat is nicely brown. I'm gonna add my seven spices to this. And then I'm gonna add my onions. And then I'm gonna let it go for another few minutes just so that the flavors can blend nicely. Okay, we are done with our ground beef. It's nice, smells fantastic. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. Now, I have a nice pan that I'm gonna put my little sambusic triangles in when I cook this. Move my butter to the side as well because I wanna unroll my phyllo dough. Open this up. Now, there are a lot of little layers to this phyllo dough. We don't need to use it all. We're just gonna use a few of them at a time. So be very gentle like that. And make sure whatever you're not using, make sure to close it up and put it away immediately because the phyllo dough will get crispy and flaky really fast. So I'm just going to take out a couple of layers of this, just like that. Just going to fold it over. I'm going to put the rest away. Fold it over just like that. There. Now I'm going to roll this back out, and what we're going to do is we're going to butter our layers. Just like that. I want to cut it. Make sure you have a nice sharp paring knife so you can cut through all the phyllo. And I want to put one layer down at a time, brush it with some butter, add the next layer. Now sometimes these layers will rip or they'll sit together. It's okay. It's not a big deal, just like my first one is right now. Not a big deal. I move this layer off, lay it down, make this nice and flat, get some of my butter. You want to be very generous with your butter. Just like that. 
that. Mm -mm -mm. Now, if you're on a diet, you can probably have one of these. Otherwise, this is not something that's super low fat or super healthy, but it is very traditional and it makes a very wonderful appetizer. I'm gonna put just another layer on top. That, making sure it's nice and flat. Line them up perfectly. This second layer, I don't have to put as much butter on. Make sure you get your corners. Okay. Now, you can cut this into thirds, or you can cut it in half and have bigger ones. We can do the first one in thirds. Now remember, these are just appetizers. So I cut it like that. I have my oven preheating at 450, so you may hear it on right now. I'm going to get just a spoonful of the beef. Place it just like that. Spoonful. Place it right in the middle. Another spoonful. Place it right in the middle. Now. This part, I'm going to zoom in just a little right now because I want to show you how to get this nice and intricate. Let's see, right there. Okay, I want to roll this over initially and then I want to move it to the side. Fold it over to the side, fold it over to the side, just like that. I'm going to try it one more time with this one. I'm just going to tuck this over it. So okay if some fall out initially, and then hold the corner down, and pull this corner over to this side, fold it over, pull this corner over to this side, fold it over, just like that. See, tuck it in a little, you have your nice little triangle. Let's do it again with this one. Move this out of the way. Fold it over. Corner, over, corner, just like you're making a little triangle. When you're done with them, you want to put the flap side down into your pan, just like that. Just like that. Fit them in. See? What we're going to do a little bit of butter again. Paint it over the top. Now, I'm going to finish rolling the rest of mine up, and then I'm going to put them in the oven, and you want to cook these or bake these for about 10 minutes just until they're golden brown, and then you're going to take them out, let them cool for about 5 minutes, and then, and then plate them up. Let's plate these suckers up. You just want to very gently, you'll get a couple of flakes here and there, it's okay. Look at that. They're nice. You can even make these um, in advance, like a day or two ahead if you're having a party and you don't want to be, you know, folding these up at the last minute. Make them a day or two ahead, put them in the pan, put them in the freezer or in the refrigerator, and then right before your guests arrive, pop them in the oven and you're ready to go. So that's a good way for, you know, planning your meals ahead of time. Put that like that. One on top like that, that like that. I'm gonna take a bite into one just so I can. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that. Nice and flaky. So good. If you want to be creative, serve this with a dipping sauce. I mean, whatever you want. Don't forget to get this recipe on my website at ddmat.com, and I'll see you again.